my soul bows to you. Namaskar. You are about to view our day two meditation practice. In this day two meditation practice, we focus on conscious being. It's extremely important to center yourself in what we call pure consciousness. It is a consciousness that is not associated with the thought or with the emotion or with the intention or with the body. It is that observing consciousness that is detached, where you are not carried away by the experiences of the, the mind and the emotion and the, the vital being or the body, but you, you are observing everything clearly as an experience in the consciousness. This provides for an excellent meditation and a wonderful meditation practice of staying conscious and centered in pure consciousness throughout your meditation. This brings you in time into that beautiful experience of freedom from all these limitations that are in the consciousness. So enjoy your day two meditation practice. Here as well, you'll want to ensure that you you observe your experiences so you can journal them after. Enjoy your practice. We begin our meditation today. Let's bring the attention to the present moment. And let's give attention to conscious being. We are conscious beings. In that experience of consciousness, We create thoughts, sustain them, and detach from them. We create emotions, we create intentions. All of these are energy experiences in your consciousness. The goal of meditation is to center in pure consciousness. Not the energy experiences in the consciousness that are caught in time, that are subjected to time, but just to be established in pure being, pure consciousness, observing the experiences in a more detached way. That is how you experience more and more of your freedom as a conscious being. That consciousness within you is Im immortal, existing beyond time. Time features in the energies that you experience in the consciousness. But the pure consciousness is timeless. So let's try to center in that place of pure consciousness. We begin by embracing the silence in the consciousness. Silence in the mind. Clear the mind of thoughts you do not need. And even if thoughts come unbidden by the momentum of thinking, the force of conditioned thinking, just observe them. Just witness them. No conflict. Let them come. Let them go.
it is a fundamental practice in meditation to have a silent mind and an observing consciousness that is detached from all the time-based experiences in the consciousness. So give attention to the silence, give power to the silence and clear the mental space. But keep observing every experience Now give attention to the emotional energy in the consciousness. In this human experience, emotional energy features. And in a physical sense, give attention to the chest area, from where we experience the energy of feeling. And let's try to unburden that center, the heart center, the emotional center, by bringing to that space just lovingness. So peacefulness and silence in the mental space, lovingness in the emotional space. And now take your attention to the vital nature in the body by focusing on the belly area. And holding the entire body in your consciousness. And here we'll begin to observe the breath, if you're not doing that already. Breathe into the belly area and breathe out from there. The consciousness should be one of vitality in the body. Your tension and your in intention is very important in meditation. So give attention to your belly area in the meditation. Just breathing out and breathing in to the belly. You'll find as you move the breath that you can revitalize the body by focusing on the navel area. That is because there is a pranic center there an energy center that is in your subtle energy being. So in this human experience you have a subtle energy being and you have a gross energy being, gross being the physical body. So give attention to the pranic power from the subtle body as it influences the physical by breathing out and breathing in from the gut, you can observe that experience clearly of revitalizing the core of the body. And you can see the influence it has on the mind. The more vital the core becomes, the stronger the mind becomes. And learn to enjoy the rhythm of the breath. Breathe in rhythm. Out slowly, completely. Pause for a moment. In slowly, deeply. Pause for a moment and just enjoy the rhythm of the breath because you're moving energy as you move the breath.
and the entire lower body of legs and pelvic area should be in your consciousness as you breathe into the belly. As you feel the body being revitalized, come to the chest and breathe into the center of the chest, giving attention to the hands and the chest area. And as you breathe into that point, you're bringing prana there. And as you hold the area in your mind, you bring the prana from the mind there. Mental power. And begin to observe what happens as you breathe into the chest area. You revitalize the nervous system of the heart. And you activate and bring into balance the emotional center of your subtle body. Sustain the focus. Find your rhythm in the breath that you can enjoy this practice. It's a pranayama practice. Revitalizing your pranamaya kosha or your prana body. You feel more vital in the body. Emotional center becomes stronger. Just the simple and effective use of the breath. And as you feel that your emotional area become more stable, breathe into the throat area. An energy center of the throat is associated with space, spaciousness, expansiveness, silence, intuition, listening, And when you associate that with the mind, as you breathe into that medulla center, the back of the neck, and focusing on the center of the eyebrows, you begin to experience more silence in the mind, more intuition in the mind, more open to guidance from within, more pranic power or life force, life energy in the brain. And so this is pranayama in the throat and brow areas. Again, stay in the rhythm of the breath. Now your subtle energy body should come alive. You should be experiencing more prana throughout the body, more life force. Now give attention to the entire spinal column and the brain. And breathe with attention from the root of the spinal column, up along the column, to the back of the neck, center of eyebrows. And then breathe down the center line of the body, right down to the perineum area, at the root energy center. So you create an orbit with your attention and the breath. This is a way of bringing balance 
in the pranic energy. And that is bringing balance to the mind, to the emotional being, to the vital being of the body. Stay connected from the root center to the brow. Let these be two main points that you hold firmly in your consciousness. And you, so you breathe from the root to the brow along the spine and you breathe down from the brow to the root. Keeping the tongue, tip of the tongue on the palate. That completes the energy circuit. And just enjoy that blissful feeling of being. So this is a way of communing with your Divine Self because the source of consciousness within you is the Divine. The source of power within you is the Divine. And the more connected you are in the inner space to the Divine, you will feel that whatever you're doing is happening automatically that you're being supported in the inner space by the evolutionary power that we call Kundalini. Remember the power of the mind is the most powerful part of your being. It is the place of the intellect, that powerful intelligence within you. It is the place of the ego, that consciousness of self. So that mental space is an important space. It's where the guiding power is, the guru power inside of you. And here to build a very powerful vibration in the mind, you can use the mantra with the breath, Om Guru, Om, or Soham. Om Guru heightens your consciousness of the Guru power inside of you. It's a call to wake up the inner Guru. Om brings you to the very center of being. And Soham is the natural mantra of the breath. Breathing in So, the Divine, and breathing out Hum, the I.
Now observe very carefully the human part of you, the mortal part of you. And try to observe the immortal part of you, the subtle part of you. All the energy centers within you in the subtle body or the chakras, they are the immortal part of you. The mind, the emotion, the prana, they are the subtle part of you. Observe that coexistence of your subtle energy body in your gross body. The subtle energy body is what drives the physical body. Your ego, your mind, is in your subtle body. Your sense of I, individuality, is in your subtle body. So observe that coexistence as much as you can by witnessing the physicality. And observing the subtle part of you being apart from the body. And now observe the beauty of your subtle body's connection with the elements of nature. At the root, there is a consciousness of the earth at the root center. When you take your attention there with the breath, you come more into the consciousness of the earth and to the sense of smell. Connect with the earth through that root center and become conscious of the sense of smell. So here you're learning now to create a harmonious relationship in your subtle body with nature that is in the body, gross body, and that is around you in the world. And take your consciousness to the sacral chakra and become more aware of the water element. Bring the water element to your consciousness and the sense of taste. Water in the body, water in nature, and second chakra awareness. Let there be an appreciation for the water element and a harmonious connection to it. Appreciation. And then you go to the navel area and connect with the fire element. Fire within the body in every cell fire in the digestive process, fire in nature, the sun is fire. And as you give attention to the fire element, again harmonize with it. It supports your it supports your physical existence. It's associated with sight. Through light that comes from fire.
and then take the attention to the chest area, the air element, the heart center, the sense of touch, air in the lungs, air around you, your entire body has the sense of the air around you through touch. And throat consciousness, space and hearing, element of space, sense of hearing. And through those five chakras or subtle energy centers, you harmonize from the subtle body with the elements of nature. And hold the intention in your mind and your being of harmonious coexistence. Now let's look ahead to this day. And to engaging in the karmic play of this day. As a soul, a subtle energy being in the human experience. Give attention to the day ahead. Embrace it in your consciousness, open to learn and grow from every experience that will unfold in this day. And let's hold this consciousness of being centered in our source being, our source of true power, Hold the intention of staying aligned to this space as we engage in the karmic play of this day. The goal is to live in the highest consciousness and to manifest that higher consciousness in everything that we do today. Let's use the power of affirmation. I center my consciousness in the source of my being. That source of infinite peace, love, goodness, wisdom and vitality. I stay centered there that my every thought, word and action in this day be a blessing to my world. I give thanks for all the blessings I have received and I pray to continue to be worthy. Aum. Peace. 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 Namaskar everyone then. Welcome to Sunday. It's a rainy day here, and it reminds me of the monsoon in India. Always cool and and very uh, conducive to contemplation and to mental being. I hope that you've been inspired by the meditation to stay in this consciousness throughout the day. And uh, I hope that you would have noticed that I guided you to fine-tune your energies in the subtle body.
you have seven subtle energy centers within you. Seven centers in which you experience consciousness and energy and different qualities of energy. And in the meditation I showed you how these five centers from the throat right on to the root, how they are associated with the human experience. The sixth center is the mind. And the mind, uh, through the senses, are engaged in the human experience. And in the mental space, we have intellect. We have ego in there, that's in the mental space. When we begin to think ego, we see the ego. When we can reason in that mental space, and then we have the mind that is associated with the senses. So that part of the mind is called manas, the one that's associated with the senses. So these exist within you. And using these, you can fine tune the, your experience, your energies, come into more, more balance. And the wonderful thing is that you, you can nourish your subtle energy being or your prana being or your vital life force behind the body, you can nourish that through the meditation practice by bringing the pranayama into the meditation, bringing the breathing into the meditation and bringing the foc focus on the chakras in the meditation. Here is where you begin to fine tune your, your awareness as it were. You begin to uh, learn how to be more conscious of these energy centers within you. Because for a lot of us, we're not conscious of them in our daily life. To become more conscious, so if you're operating at a particular level, let's say emotional or mental or vital or very physical, you can place your consciousness in a particular area and you can hold your mind firmly there. And that's how you get a lot of support from your subtle energy being. So when you do not operate with that, that's opportunity lost because you are shortchanging yourself. You're not using your full power as a subtle energy being or as a spiritual being. So here you can become more conscious of these centers and the more conscious you become, you, you become more conscious in daily life. You become more conscious of emotions, more conscious of vitality, more conscious of uh, physicality, more conscious of listening of, of, of the space, and more conscious of your mind and its connection with them. So what you do here is build more consciousness of your energies and your center of being, your center of power. And that stays with you throughout your day. If it doesn't stay with you throughout your day, it means that your meditation was not effective enough or your practice is not the best practice. So meditation is an extremely important practice to bring your consciousness to center of being and to bring your energies into balance. How can we neglect such a powerful practice at the beginning of our day? The way you prepare your mind for a new day is important. The mind has to be peaceful, mind has to be energized, mind has to be centered, and mind ha has to be aligned to that divine center of being. If it's not, you're not prepared for a, a new day. So mind has to be cleansed, refreshed. All your energies need to, need to come into balance. So yoga and meditation is such a wonderful, wonderful practice. I cannot think of life without the practice. And even though you might be establishing a higher consciousness, you need the energy practice every day. It's like food for the body. You take the physical food for the body, you need it every day, unless you learn breatharianism. So too, you need the vital life force recharge every day. That, that is the buzz behind the physical body. It improves the way your, your appetite is, it improves, it improves your elimination, it improves your breathing, it improves your thinking, it improves your emotion. How can we do without this? 
So yoga is a perfect exercise through the pranayama, through the meditation, through the centering of the consciousness, through the alignment with the Divine Self. It is a perfect exercise for your new day. And that's the practice that I try to support you with by guiding you every day. So do not, do not uh, neglect the practice. And during the day, stay conscious of your breathing, stay conscious of your centers. You can always take a little break and just focus on the centers and breathe. And you, you don't need to do it in any uh, way that will, that will make you noticeable. Very silently, you breathe into the different chakras and you give attention to the energy points. Nobody knows what you're doing. Just to breathe is to move energy. And the simple motion of the breath can bring you to every chakra. So in the same way we grab uh, something to eat, or we grab a bottle of water, same way too you can grab a breath, a breath of prana, and direct it to the particular chakras. So it's more important to live in higher consciousness every day, consciousness of self, consciousness of body, consciousness of alignment, and consciousness, most of all, of the karmic play because we are completely taken up in karmic play, the good and bad in, in the play, the negative and positive in the play. But when we come from a more detached consciousness, a more observant consciousness, a more balanced consciousness, we can see the play differently. Everything in the karmic play is in divine order. Everything. Every experience is happening in a dynamic way and completely in divine order. No experience that you are having is outside of divine order. Every incident, every coincident, every accident is completely in divine order. A result of some omission or some uh, thinking that is out of uh, order. So the goal is to be more conscious. So it's Sunday in your wallet, it's a marvelous day for energies. I've always found that Sunday carries this particular kind of energy that I absolutely love. It's more restful, it's more contemplative, and, and uh, it allows you to, to relax a little more. It's different to a Monday, it's different to a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Every day has its own particular quality. So remember you're divine, you're not human, you're having a human experience. Your roots are in your divinity. You're a divine being in a human experience. So I leave you here, to, here today with the excitement of practice and those of you who have followed us with the video stream, it's wonderful to have you. We've decided that we'll let you, let you in to the experience of our daily meditations here at the Blue Star Center. So you can tune in to our meditations uh, for as long as uh, we stream them for you and uh, enjoy the daily practice of meditation with us. And those of you who are here, thank you for coming and have a most wonderful day. My soul bows to you. Namaskar.